All right, welcome back to The Handy Landlord. Myself and the other landlord has a shareable list. If you have iPhones, a great little thing, pretty good for grocery lists or repairs that need to be done on properties. And on this property, I am supposed to replace the bathroom vanity, the vent covers in the floor. I need to look at those. They're not in or something. Uh, spray the roof. So I'm going to try to clean the roof because there's um, black on there. Remove the outside spigots. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that because sometimes it's not that easy. Uh, change the locks. Move the lock box uh, to the back of the property. Leave the keys for the tenant. That's what I have to do on this property. I'm going to bring you guys along. Four. This area over here isn't that bad. You can see it. This area is all stained. Alright, this is what I'm using Clorox Outdoor Bleach. I put just a little bit of water in there. Here's the after. All this white is algae or mold that's dying. Here's the after. It's a little bit. I tried hosing it all off, but it's a lot, a lot better. Hit all this algae, but actually ran out of bleach. Outdoor Clorox. Look how dark that is. It's crazy. I'm no expert, but. I think somebody missed the spot. All right, next on the list. Change out these uh, front and back door locks. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, now I can see what I'm doing. Here is uh, the type of locks that we that I always use. Uh, they're the Defiant. So. If you use all the same locks, whenever you come to do a change out, all you have to do is switch out the locking mechanism and you're good to go. And for 20 bucks, they, they run specials on these around Christmas and Thanksgiving and you can get the setup for 20 bucks. Hey, I wanna let you know that piece of trim is not nailed to the wall. Funny story, it was one of my first times on call. I was probably 18, 19 at the time. And uh, might have been my first or second time. And uh, I told the, the tenant that was living there, I was like, I can't change your lock set out. And I grabbed the wrong lock set, right? Thinking that there were different types. Like, so this is adjustable and I did not know that. Um, I felt like a moron. I went back to the shop and told the guy, you know, the other guy, I was like, hey, I couldn't change that lock set out. He said, come with me, come out to my van. Let me show you something. So he uh, took a lock set and he twisted this and that extends it. So there's actually different depths of deadbolts and at the time I did not know that and I felt like a moron. I think about that every time that I install a lock set. To adjust that, the top striker down a little bit and then replace that. Next on the list is to remove this outside spigot. I gotta shut the water off first. Dang on, man. Man, oh man. You're making me nervous. Oh wow. Calcium in there. See that? Oh, that's crazy. I'd say it needs replaced. My gosh. Wow. Okay. Weird little bathroom. It's super small. This should be 
You gotta move the switch here. Right there. It's leaking. Go ahead and score these. Bought new lines. I should have a shot off on my truck. This looks like a compression. Definitely looks like it's been leaking for some time. Now what's funny is I actually need the top from this vanity for another another job. All I need is a top. I Should be able to clean this up and reuse this on another unit that I just need the top for. The tenant actually destroyed it. See, I need to replace this shut off. Oh. So the copper will go in there, half inch, and then these are 90s, and then this is um, this is 3 8 So my supply lines will hook up to that. So here is a straight. This is. Uh, half inch at the wall, three eighths coming out, and then quarter turn. I always buy the quarter turn, um, it's just a personal preference. Cut on the shelving before, this actually came in really handy to store everything that I'm using to replace this vanity. This comes in really, really handy. A lot of times you can grab this ferrule and you can pull, start pulling it off. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna come. All right, got the new nut on there. Here's the new ferrule. All right, grab a little bit of pipe dope. You're in a bathroom and you don't have uh, anything to catch water, you can always take the toilet lid, flip it over, and it catches water. Put a little bit of glue, corners and back edge. I notched, notched out that area so that it'll slip back in there because this corner's not square. And then I just went ahead and mudded, mud that area to smooth it out. Ah, I just messed up all my mud. Messed up my mud, but. Yeah, looks like that was a tape joint. Turned a little bit off of there. This is the only piece that I have in my van, so I'm gonna glue that on there. Okay. Got it all hooked up. Had to trim this just a little bit. Uh, glued this fitting on. I just turned the shutoffs on. A uh, little pro tip, whenever you're done plumbing, when you install a new faucet, last thing I'm gonna do is plug up the aerator. Let's take that off. Flush some water through. This is all done. I'm getting out of here. I got the vents all installed. I should have cleaned a little bit on that one. Um, what else do I do? I cap this line back here. So that's done. Good to go. No leaks. I might actually take this. Cause I, I need some hangers in my garage. Uh, here's the kitchen. Didn't do anything here. Uh, what else did I do? I tightened up the packing nut on that. It does not appear to be leaking on that shut off. 
All the vents in, vent in, that one's messed up. Uh, two new vents, I was able to put those in. Get that done. And then here's the bathroom. I was really um, pushing this and I ended up painting it. Uh, I kind of caulked down there along this edge. Right down there, kind of filled that in with caulk. The water on the ground is um, a cockroach killer, so I sprayed that. But overall, I think it turned out pretty good, pretty good. There's the plumbing. You can see, no leaks, so sealed in the hole back down in there. And then, yeah, doors all open. Yeah. I like that vanity. Uh, the only thing I wish is that it had like a, had a back back there, but you could probably buy a piece of marble or something to, you know, put back there. So yeah, overall it turned out pretty good. And there's a lot of other things here that need done. I do like to see that uh, he's installed here. He has a mowing Adler shower valve in there. That's what I install. So yeah, that's it.